صفه الصلاه the description of the prayer ياتي بالشروط قبل ان يدخل الى الصلاه they come with the condition before you enter into the prayer يستحب ان يصلي الى ستره is uh, recommended to pray to a barrier النظر دائما يكون الى موضع السجود that you always look at the place where you perform sujood الرجلين على استقامه البدن the the feet are in line with the body نعم يكبر مع رفع اليدين يقول الله اكبر so he raises the hand and says Allahu Akbar at the same time. And then he places his right hand over his left hand on his chest. Or he holds his hand. Then he says the supplication of the opening of the prayer recommendedly. He says, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Al-Rajim Yubasmin Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim And then he says, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Yaqra Al-Fatiha Then he recites Surah Al-Fatiha Thumma Yuammin Ameen And then he says, Ameen Yustahab Lahu An Yaqra Ma Tiyassara Min Al-Quran Aya Fa Akthar Then it's recommended for him to recite that which is easy for him from the Quran either ayah or more. Allahu Akbar, Yarka Then he says, Allahu Akbar, and he goes into Bawi Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim then he says, Subhana Rabbi al Adim. And it's recommended for him to increase the amount of times he says it. Or with that which anything that is being narrated by the Prophet. Subhana Rabbi al Adim, 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 So these are from examples of the different supplications that have been narrated. He doesn't bend and bring out his elbows. So between the bowing and rising, as soon as he starts to rise, this is when he says, Sami Allah Huli Man Hamidah while raising his hands. And once he's upright, that's when he says, Rabbana wa lakal hamd. And it is recommended to Increase with that which has been narrated by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahu Akbar. Yes, Jud. He says, "Subhan Rabbi al-A'la." So he says, "Allahu Akbar," and goes to the next position of prostration and says, "Subhan Rabbi al-A'la." Baatil asab al-Jalain al-Ard. And the insides of his uh, legs are on the ground. Ya Hamm alayhi rafaguma. He's not allowed to raise his feet or put them on top of each other. Aw yalla hadam al-Akhra. Or put one on the other. Yeah. Or to put his elbows on the ground. Yeah. Or to close himself together. Yeah. So he says one time obligatory, um, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, and it's recommended for him to increase with that which has been narrated. Allahu Akbar. Then he says Allahu Akbar, and he does the sitting between the two. He says, "Rabbi, for me once, obligatory, and it's recommended to increase." Rabbi, for me, Rabbi, for me, na. ثم بعد الجلوس دائما في الصلاة يكون على هذه الصفة. So when you sit, it should always be done in this manner. إلا إذا كانت الصلاة فيها أكثر من تشهد يتوقف في التشهد الأخير. Except for if there is more than one tashahud in the salah, then if in the last tashahud, then he sits in this manner. So in the final tashahud, a person, you give the taslims only with your head. So people, some people raise their head raise their hands or move their whole body to the sides, this is a mistake. Wallahu a'lam.